Harry's Wife, Part 104.60, Harry's Terrified of Losing Her. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The International Business Times, which doesn't seem to be too much about business, one has to say, but in the entertainment section anyway of it, an article by Tanya Diente reports as follows. Harry's wife has been accused of controlling Prince Harry. Indeed, and that's what narcissists do. And according to recent claims, he fears that she would leave him if he does not do what she wants. In its November the 18th issue, Closer UK alleged that the 38-year-old is being careful not to make any mistake that was, would displease his wife because he cannot bear the thought of her leaving him. Now, I'll leave it for you to determine the veracity of that observation and statement. There's a lot of conflicting information that suggests that Harry's already had enough and he may well have packed his bags. There's other information that suggests that he is desperately unhappy, but that doesn't mean that he's going to leave. It may be the case, of course, that he is unhappy, but still loves his wife and believes that somehow they will get through the difficulties that he's experiencing. But if we assume that this observation that he's careful not to make any mistake that would please his wife because he cannot bear the thought of her leaving him is true, what does this tell us? It demonstrates, of course, that he's very much in the clutches of his wife still as a consequence of her manipulative behaviour and his own emotional thinking, which is not causing him to look at the situation in a logical way. He's clouded with the fog that makes him think to himself, I love her, I want us to be together, I want her to love me, I want our family to stay together. And typical empath views it as him as the one that could potentially spoil all of this because he doesn't want to lose her. That he believes and sees that that is a risk. The fact is that for him to recognise that there is a risk that she might leave him shows some clarity on his part because it's accurate. As I have explained in parts passim, with my excellent and detailed analysis of where this relationship might get to, in the Sussex series, which you have, if you have not embraced that already, I thoroughly recommend that you do, one of the options, of course, is that Harry's wife dumps him through disengagement, and I identified that there were three potential triggers for this. She swaps him out for somebody else, he breaks down, isn't as useful to her, or he becomes too difficult to control. And the fact is that him seeing that he might make a mistake goes within the control issue. He doesn't see it that way, if this report is accurate. He doesn't see that he's problematic with regard to the issue of control. Indeed, the mindset that's being exhibited here is the contrary of that, that he's trying to ensure that he doesn't cock things up, that he's showing that he is compliant. The article continues... A source told the publication that while the Duke of Sussex is happy in his new life with Harry's wife, it has to be said that his face needs to be told that's the case then because it doesn't demonstrate that he is happy, he does sometimes wonder what will happen if it all went wrong and that terrifies him. The insider, split, the insider added, a split would be unbearable agony and claimed that Prince Harry considers Prince William and... Princess Catherine as his inspiration when it comes to relationships. He always used to look up to William and Kate as an inspirational couple, and should anything ever happen between him and Harry's wife, it would be Kate he turned to for advice. The source's claims came amid speculations that all is not well in the Sussex marriage. They have allegedly been having arguments over their upcoming projects with Netflix, argumentativeness is a trait of the narcissist and is a form of manipulation, that would often result in Prince Harry leaving Harry's wife and taking off for a few days, see parts pass him, about Harry packing his bags. However, divorce rumours have plagued the couple since Megxit in 2020. They have not personally responded to these claims and choose to continue their life, to live their lives in private. But their recent date night should be proof that their marriage is still solid. 
Prince Harry and Harry's wife were spotted by restaurant goers at the Duchess a Burmese restaurant. The restaurant is about 20 miles from their home in Montesquieu. Again, I've analysed that in parts passim, and there are those that see that that is purely a response to the threat to control posed by suggesting that all is not well in the marriage, and there are even those that question, did it actually occur? Sources said that it was a very low-key dinner, so low-key that the paparazzi knew about it, although there were no photographs. One told Hello! magazine that they came in, just the two of them, and that it was very impromptu, no reservations. The insider added that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex loved the food, and that everyone said they were really great, and they had a very pleasant time. Another source said they were incredibly pleasant and really polite to the staff. Prince Harry and Harry's wife have been married for four years. They share two children, Archie three and Lilibet one. You can make of this what you will. What it seems to suggest is that Harry's happy in the relationship despite there being some problems and that he's terrified that he will lose his wife. To my mind, I don't necessarily see this as accurate, but based upon the evidence that is showing where he does appear to become increasingly pissed off with the way that he's being treated. Nevertheless, it might be the case that he is terrified of losing her, notwithstanding the way that he's being treated, that he would rather heal the situation, fix the problems that exist, enable them to move on with their lives, and that everything get back. Remember, as a victim of the narcissist, he's coloured in his thinking, by what happened in the very beginning. And it's this behaviour that has led Harry to behave like such a twat. Along came this woman, and the narcissist in seduction. She went hell for leather to ensnare and embed him. This meant telling him he was amazing, that he was wonderful, giving him lots of spicy poontang, supporting him, pretending to understand him, although she thought it was genuine. Mirroring his interests, mirroring his dislikes, laughing at his jokes, cozying up and doing whatever he wanted. After all, he did say, rather memorably, she lets you do anything that you want. And therefore, Harry, who had lost his mother at a young age, and basically, as the position of spare, was always somewhat lost, finally found somebody that he thought was completely and genuinely interested in him. It felt like all his Christmases had come at once. He was made to feel special. He was made to be the king that he thought he would never actually become. Because he was made to feel that way, because that's what narcissists invariably do to you as a consequence of our love bombing and the presentation of the golden period to you, that when sustained devaluation comes, and as I've told you before, it always does with the intimate partner primary source, the victim does whatever they can to scramble to get it back. So delicious, so intoxicating, so indictive is the golden period that having had it once, the victim believes that they can get it back. And the thought of not having that again is both disconcerting and the possibility of never being with this supposedly wonderful person again can often terrify some victims, which may be the case here with Harry. Because he's been treated so brilliantly and so special, but he doesn't realise it was an illusion, he thinks he can get that back, and understandably wants it back. He thinks that was genuine. He thinks that's what she truly feels for him, and that they're, at the moment, going through a difficult patch that all marriages go through, that there's it's the pressure of all of the horrible comments that are made about them. And, of course, he's looking in the long, wrong direction, as many victims of narcissists do, rather than looking at it and realising that it's her behaviour that is causing him to be this way and that she's a narcissist and he was fed an illusion to begin with, he falls into the trap that so many victims do of believing that the golden period was genuine and that it can be obtained once again. He can't make it come back. She does. But it only comes back in short dollops as the respite periods. And, as I've explained to you in parts past him in the Sussex series, his fate is already sealed in terms of what outcome will occur. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.